Yo, what are we got SpongeBob doing out here, bro? What are you doing out here, bro? Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Laz, AK Murder Bro. And as you can tell, we out here in some traffic, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're not having a good day, I hope you, I hope this video makes you have a better day. As usual, we in the beautiful Hollywood. Yeah, so we're about to make our way to Hollywood Boulevard. I feel I was like today, you know, I was like I felt like a Hollywood Boulevard type of day. Like show you guys what's popping on this beautiful Thursday in magnificent Hollywood, California. Yeah, we already see SpongeBob walking around. Swaggy, bro. We got Michael Jordan spinning the ball. Hit that zoom in, Lars. Dude, it's so crazy because there'll be so much different things going on. People singing, look. People dancing over here, like. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, baby. Skirt, skirt. Woo! We out here, baby. Yeah, we're just chilling. Chilling out here in a wheelie in traffic. Haha, <laughs> lit. Oh, shit. That fire truck scared me so bad. Out of nowhere, bro. It didn't even have its sirens on. Out of nowhere, just. Shush! Oh, what the f. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Am I a fucking noob or what? Dude, that sh didn't want to stop at all, bro. That sensor is f***ed up. Yeah, oh, there's no more napkins either. this machine for having a crappy sensor. Yo, look at that. That's all my gas, dude. You know, yellow, right? Look at little burnout. Nope. JK. No burnout. Woo! Going around these people. We got a GTR in front of us. Yeah. Yo, what do we got SpongeBob doing out here, bro? What are you doing out here, bro? Yo, it smells like beautiful candles lit up right now in the hills. Oh, this is amazing. Right to that stop sign, boy! Yo, I love just coming up the hills, popping some wheelies. We should pop up into a stand up, bro. Right? There it is. Second gear, smooth as a baby. I love you, DRZ. Yeah, bro, this is a spot right here. Let's do um, a little teleportation. Let's get Lars AK Motor Bro in and uh, do a little QA. NB Gang, my family, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all having a good time watching this video. Welcome to the QA segment. Let's get started. Yo, so the first question is from Natro3. Pop it up on the screen right here. Bing! He said, I just got a DRZ400. Should I get a new clutch? Is it better for wheelies? And which one personally i have a stock clutch on my bike and it wheelies fine i've run in i've ridden stock drz's and the clutch doesn't really matter for wheelies if you just have some sort of clutch you'll be able to pop it up for a wheelie a lot of times you don't even need the clutch you can just power wheelie but definitely clutch up wheelies is a lot easier i really suggest to learn clutch up wheelies instead of power wheelies because you can really control how how easy the clutch up pops up ah it's a beautiful hawk up there dude flying in the wind hold on hold on let me show y'all look at it hopefully y'all can see it another question right here from colton darnick yes what's the fastest you've ever gone on your drz or on your bike can you even say what bike uh the fastest i've gone on my drz 400 is 100 miles per hour that's like maxed out maybe if i'm going downhill i can hit like 104 but 
Besides that, I don't even think I've really gone faster on a bike. I've ridden a R6, and the fastest I got it up to was 90 miles per hour, and I went from zero to 90 miles per hour like this, and that was the scariest moment in my life. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm never gonna be riding a sport bike, so uh, I'm just gonna stick with my VRZ that goes less than 100 miles per hour. Hey, I'm trying to freaking film here, bro. There's cars hauling by and stuff. <laughs> Oh, this question goes right with the last one. Do you ever think you'll stun a street bike? And no, I don't think I'll ever stun a street bike. The only thing I think might stunt in the future is a Harley, like a legit motorcycle. Just like, I feel like that's so badass and that's like the final step for me is like Supermoto, Grom, and maybe a Harley in the future. We don't, I don't know yet. I don't even have a Grom yet, so what am I talking about? What am I talking about? And my dude's like, you a savage, I love you, bro. Hey, you just made the Q&A, brother. I answer most of my questions on Snapchat, so if you guys haven't yet, follow me on Snapchat, at Motobro with three O's. I'll have that in the link below. I'll have it pop up on the screen right here, everywhere to make it easy. But yeah, Instagram messages, I try to, but I get so many flown, but Snapchat's just so easy to slide open, and it pops up, so I fuck with Snapchat. Lane Dolyan asked, you ever think about racing motocross? Obviously not the DRZ, but maybe a borrowed bike. I know you did one with Big Mac Moto, and that is true. I did ride the motorcycle track on a two-stroke KX125. Shout out my homie Big Mac Moto. Miss you, brother. Hope you're doing well. I would love to get into it. It's just, it's expensive, to be honest. Super expensive, and um, I don't know. Motocross can be super dangerous. I know, like, if I'm on that track, and I mean, keep wanting to progress and progress, like, there's just a moment of time where I'm going to eat crap and probably kill myself so that's why I haven't really raced motocross and it's expensive as hell so yeah that answers that question Ooh, change the angle for this question but Ryan Daniels asked what age did you start wheeling what age did you start getting interested in wheelies well, that is a good question so right when I was 18 um, I got my first pit bike I was still in high school it was like the end of high school I remember it because I was thinking I was like yo should I ride it to my school or not I never did I should have done it for a video, but I wasn't even motovlogging back then. Like, literally, motovlogging wasn't even in my brain. So, when I first got my pit bike, I wasn't really interested in wheelies. I was more interested in just riding the bike. It was my first dirt bike, so I didn't even really know how to ride a dirt bike that good. I wasn't that comfortable with it. Of course, I had the BMX background, which helped me out a lot. Getting that first pit bike when I was 18, that sort of just gave me the feel. And then once I got my second pit bike, that's when I really started to try to get into wheeling. Even though it was super shitty SSR, it was like a blue one if you guys know. My classic MB gang homies, y'all know what I'm talking about for real. Um, it was a classic blue SSR pit bike and I have so many memories on it. Even when I talk about it, like I just start smiling because it was such a it was such an important bike in my, my life just because like that sort of started my whole moto vlogging career, which is insane to call that even a career, even though it's probably not a career, but uh yeah, I never even knew I was going to get a Supermoto, like, I low-key always wanted one, but my parents never sort of encouraged me to get it, so I never got it, but then once the motor vlogging stuff started to come together, mom, look, like, this is the next step for my YouTube career, as I would call it, and uh, they're like, okay, like, for your videos, you can do it, but before then, bro, my parents were against motorcycles, like, uh-uh, I wanted a dirt bike when I was 15, 14, never, bro, they never wanted me to get one at all, but look what I'm on now. Follow your dreams, and it can come true. Oh, this is a good one. Yo, G, we're going to go selfie mode for this one. I want to try not to get the wind in this one. So, Wheel Stiff 25, who is my favorite moto vlogger? This is a good question. And um, to be honest, the moto vloggers I watch the most, the moto vlogger I watch the most, who the hell would that be, dude? To be honest, I don't watch a lot of moto vlogs. I like watching other stuff like free running. One I watch a lot would be Fooligan. Or so yeah, I just looked down my uh, subscribers list, and I feel like the only moto vloggers I watch, like whenever they post a video, would be Fooligan. Like I watch a lot of his videos just because it's cool and he's on a Grom. So like I've been looking into Grom, so I've been watching a lot more. I've been like, oh shit, he's on a Grom. This is sick. And I think just like Zach goes. I don't know. I don't really freaking. I mean, of course I watch other moto vloggers like Jack, like Jake the Garden Snake and stuff, and like a few other. But like no one else is really popping in my head right now. So I think that's it for moto vlogging, and I think that's it for this Q and A. Let's hop on onto the bike, like into a wheelie or something. Oh.
go. No way. We gonna get this whole canyon or what? Oh, JK. <laughs> yeah, that was lit. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to stay motivated. Hope you guys enjoyed that Q&A set. I really hope you guys enjoy that Q&A segment. A little bit different. We're gonna mix that in. You know, just we're gonna do some cool shit. Look at that sunset. Oh my god, so beautiful. Stay motivated. Keep riding. Stay happy. Peace.